Hi, it's Drew Bees with What's the Buzz. Today, I'm going to go through and discuss the difference between fake imitation and real honey. Oh, hi. Hi, Frenchie the Bee. How are you? Good. Hi. Hi. So, what's the buzz? Oh, you interested about what I got on the table here? Oh, yes, yeah, moves good. <laughs> Let me tell you. I get asked over and over and over again, how do you tell real honey from fake? Oh. So, you know, with your help, I yeah. put together a couple tests here. So I, I have some imitation honey that's obviously 100% fake. It says so right here on the label. Sugar free. We're not going to give them too much grief, even though it is genetically modified. Normally, I would never, ever, ever eat this, but... For your sake and our sake to determine the real from the fake, we, this will be our baseline. Now, here we have raw, unfiltered, right here, you want to see? Right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Raw, unfiltered, pure honey with comb in it. So you can pretty much guarantee 100% that this is real honey. So this will be our baseline for the real honey. This will be our baseline for the fake honey. We're going to test a store brought honey and we're going to test those packs of honey that you find that you wonder you know this can't be real so i have i have a p advertised from this company that says pure honey on the label ingredient says honey this one is one of those other companies and it just says honey, grade A honey. And we have a pack that has a pretty picture on it that just says honey. Now, what's the difference between pure honey, raw honey, pasteurized honey, um, and the kind of honey we get from Frenchie the Bee here? What? Well, be I'm a reader. I mean, no fake honey. How do you know it's fake? Well, we're gonna do a couple tests. We're gonna do, we're gonna do a water test. We're gonna do a warm water test that was gonna show your your honeycomb when it's real. That's oh. a that's a really cool one. Oh yeah, yeah, sounds fun. <laughs> yeah, and then we're gonna do a taste test. Oh, we're well, going to eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're definitely gonna do that. We're going to have wine. Just another time, just this water. Yeah. Okay. okay, so are you ready to get started? Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, let's, let's go, let's go. Okay, now, this particular one here is, is, is all right, here we go. Yeah. What we're gonna do is we're gonna see if this actually gives the genetic makeup of the comb. We know it won't, because it's fake, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not too okay. same, but how do you know? You know what? We're going to use the real one first. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> good. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Here we go. And in fact, this has never been opened. Now, let me give you a quick lesson on raw and unfiltered versus pasteurized. Okay. Pasteurized, um, it's more of the commercial uh, brought. You, you go to the restaurant and they've got it out there. If it is real, I can guarantee you it is pasteurized. Now, even if it is pasteurized or if it is pure and unfiltered, raw, you don't want to give honey to children under one ever. Good practice to keep it under three, and anyone with immune, um, compromised, old, sick, it's just not good. And let me tell you why. Now, honey carries a real low moisture. Um, what makes honey, bees will go, and this is a really interesting fact, that a bee will go up to six miles to find it a nectar tree. Six, Frenchie? You go six miles? Yes, yes, we go. And, 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 it, and it takes a bee up to one million visits to a nectar flower to give an average bottle of honey. Oh, yes. So hats off to the little guys. They work real hard. So now pasteurized, they actually heat the honey to 145 degrees for a half hour. And what that will do will kill everything in it. All the propolis, all the wax, all of the, the natural pollens, 
uh, other than real healthy benefits that a lot of folks eat the honey in fact it's known that if you were to eat local honey from your community it helps in local allergies um, but you know that's what I've read so let's get to the point so when you heat it you kill it and when you keep it raw it's pure well pure just means that it hasn't been adulterated with any additives so it can be pure but not raw oh. and it can be raw and unfiltered and it can be pure and unfiltered but the purity and the raw and the unfiltered and unpasteurized is exactly 100 percent off the comb so that's why we have this one so here we go oh also let me get back to the point bacteria can't live in an acidic environment of honey honey has a low moisture and a high acidity now yeast can but but it cannot reproduce but now the yeast will ferment on occasion and that's when actually botulism can occur into the honey and botulism is a, is a real seriously nasty food poisoning and that's why you want to keep it out of you know the sick and children so getting back to the point here we go we're opening up yes and again this one you might hear a psh, and, and that would be the fermentation from the yeast so let, let's see if this one has any sound when you open it you ready yes and here we go here yes, we go sir. Oh. oh, wait, wait, they got an extra one in here. No. Do we have any sound other than goodness coming out of this one? They got this one packed real well, Frenchie. Well, we don't want the one to steal it. <laughs> I want, I would slice it open, but I want to see, here we go, ready? Yes. Nope. No. No, no, no. No vacuum. No vacuum. Nope. No. No, 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 no. No fermentation going on in here. No, 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 no. no. Oh, look at this. Nothing but natural mm. goodness. <clears throat> Take a look. Oh. Mm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm. Oh. 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 Yeah. All right. Here we go. First test. The first test, Frenchie that I always look for, other than really the label and the price, is after you open it, you listen for it. If you don't hear any pee, that's the liquid from the moisture. Stick your, stick your spoon in and give it a good run. See how rich, it's like good motor oil. Good oh. Hell yeah, you know what motor oil is? It's what humans put into the car. It's like, it's like what honey is to bees. It, it keeps everything running. So, See how pure, and I'll show you in a minute how runny the fake stuff is. But right now, we're gonna do the second test. Okay. The second test is when you dip real honey into your plate like this, and you put a little warm water on there, and you give it a good shake, real honey will dissipate into your honeycomb. Watch, watch, this is really yes, yes. super, yes. super neat. You don't want to put a lot of water in, you just put enough and just enough just to shake it up. So now we give it a good shake. Shake, 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 shake up our antenna. Oh, here it comes. Look at it. See, it's starting to go already. You see? Isn't that neat? You see how it's starting to work? Look, yeah, keep going. Give it a good shake. And now, there is your honeycomb. Oh, it's magic. Take a look, see? Oh, you're a magician. <laughs> no, you guys do all the work. I just do the cool stuff. Oh, I knew you did too. So, you want to get a picture? Oh, let me see. We know what the real stuff looks like. You ready to see what this fake stuff looks like? Yes. Are you real sure? Well, it's fake, but let's see. For, for a friend of a bear. Let's okay, see. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. 
First of all, let's open it up and see what it sounds like. Yes. Right. Boom! <laughs> it scared me. All right, ready? Yes. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Oh. I, I, I think I heard something. Me too. I think I heard something. Yes. Yeah, we didn't hear that with the real honey, did we? No, no, mm -hmm. I hear... Oh, I'm afraid that you want to almost smell it. You tell me, I don't smell anything. No, no, it doesn't smell cheesy, but... I don't know. Are it's... we going to test it? Yeah, I think we might the, have the, to. The same? <laughs> we might have to. And I'm going to see my cone inside? We're going to give, you know what? Yes, we are. We're going to see if fake honey has the same cone. Yes. What do you think? I don't think because it's fake. Well, it says right here, imitation honey. Oh, right. it's imitation. You're right there. Imitation. See? Yes. All right. It smells kind of poor, too. It didn't smell real good. So, okay. First of all, let's see. Does it run? Is it real runny? Oh, they've... I don't know. They did a pretty good job hiding it. Oh, it doesn't. No, I don't know. Look at it. It's pouring like water. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And it's super clear, like, like, like corn syrup. Oh. Oh. I don't know, buddy. Well, I don't know either. But well, let's check it. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Yes. You wanna try it? No. <laughs> I don't blame you. I'm taking one for the team. Yes. All right, here we go. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I'm almost sleep, Frenchie. It doesn't taste like anything. It has mm -hmm. has a fake sweet taste. Well, because it's fake. Well, yeah, it's definitely not. It's definitely not yours. All right. We know it doesn't taste very good. It, no. It, not, not very good at all. It wasn't supposed to taste good. It says it right here. Imitation. It's imitation. <laughs> it's, it's imitation. Yeah. All right, here we go. I'm going to put the water in and give it a shake. All right. Oh, it, it, it. Huh? What do you see? It's a crystal ball. <gasps> uh huh. It's a honeycomb. Wow. So is it fake? Well. <sighs> or is it a chemical inside? Holy smokes. With a fruit dog. It's a straight up honeycomb. I don't know if you guys can see that. I did not expect this. I truly did not expect it. Oh yeah, man. That's a straight up honeycomb. I'm shocked. I'm truly shocked. It's not cool at all. So that is a bogus test, guys. Now that has been absolutely defunct. Hmm. What do you think? What's the buzz about it? Well, all right, guys. I was 101% sure that this would just dissipate into nothing. But as you've seen for yourself, it also has a honeycomb shape when shaken down in water. And um, I'm apt to believe that a label that says sugar-free imitation honey, and when you read the label, ingredients, there's not a lick of honey in this thing. It's this syrup and this natural, artificial color and this and this acid and nothing, no honey. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so conclusion. That's a test that will lead you astray. I can't believe it's not honey. <laughs> I can't believe it's not honey either. So honestly, uh, Frenchie, 
Yes. I don't see why that we would even bother to test the rest of this stuff. Oh, yes, because if it's not real. Hmm. I have another test. Let's do the water shakedown test. I am now very skeptical. Okay, here we go. This test should, in theory, what we're going to do is going to take real honey, and we're going to take imitation honey, and we're going to put equal amounts And we're gonna shake them. Now, the real honey should have a rich, rich, frothy layer that should stay nice and frothy for, you know, a while. This stuff should break up quick and leave a film on top and separate from the fake to the real. You ready to see? Oh, yes. Okay. Yes, yes, let's see, let's see. Okay, so. We know this one right here. See how it's already dissipating on the bottom? No. No? Let's no. see. Okay. You see how clear and how it's already falling apart? Okay, well, anyway, let's put some of this here. Beautiful honeycombed, raw, unfiltered. Here. Ready? Oh, don't worry, we're going to make tea out of it later. Okay, right off the bat, we get to lick the spoon. Mm. Mm -hmm. You see the difference? Oh, yeah, I see it now. See how it's already kind of right there in the bottom. It's getting thick and it's holding up. It's almost like, well, it is. It's just like a oily substance. Over here, it's already breaking up. Okay, so let's cap them up and give them a quick shake. All right? Yeah, first up, let's shake. Okay, baking and real. All right, here we go. La 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 how cloudy and how real and up top you have the foamy frothy and over here in the fake there isn't any so there you've got your oil separation over here nice froth here it all evaporated into the water so that see the difference French yeah you got it all up top nice froth and you have a nice oil layer here so, would you say that the buzz is this test better than the other? <laughs> well, we know that real honey is always better than... Oh, yes, but the test is true, this one. But I want to see. It almost looks like moonshine. See how clear that is? Yeah, I see, I see. Yeah. See how cloudy that is? Oh. Yep, there's your real honey. Yes. This, this is mine, you know. Yes, yes. This, this is Frenchie's honey. <laughs> All right, so conclusion, do not trust the water shakedown. Somehow, they have managed. I don't know if it's just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of honey in here, or if there's, it doesn't say there's any honey. This says it's 100% imitation, and it still had the honeycomb. So, I would not trust that one. This one is pretty conclusive. You've got a nice, rich, thick, oily-based honey up top. Here, you know, it's gin clear. I say this gets dumped. Oh, yes. This, we turn into tea. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. Yes. All right, guys. So, thanks for hanging out. We found out that you can't necessarily trust the water shakedown into the comb. That's a pretty cool trick. Trick? I, I'd almost say it is a trick. Now again, I'm no scientist, but proof is in the pudding. This is the fake stuff. This is the real stuff. We both saw what we saw. This is the fake stuff. Like water. This is the real stuff. So. That's what's the buzz for today.
don't forget to like us and subscribe. Yeah. See you next time. Hit the bell, hit the subscribe, and uh, wait for the next What's the Bus. Thanks for staying. Thanks for visiting and thanks for staying. Bye, French. Bye-bye.